Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of the Twisted League. As you can see, I've been doing barbarian fishing and I just hit 80 fishing, which is notable because that was, well, not that, but because that was a league task and if we go over here to tasks, you'll see I'm 40 points away and I'm pretty sure that is like a 100 point task. So there we go. And now if I go to relics, I got a new relic. So... I was debating this for a while, which I want to get, because they're all the same. They all give uh, another two times experience boost to certain skills, and that would increase it from the base five times experience rate of this to ten times. And I decided I'm going of Artisan for a couple reasons. The main one is Herb Lures here, and getting potions like Antifires is really important. So getting that ten times faster instead of five times faster is a big deal. But I also have construction, fire making for faster levels at Winter Todd, and even stuff like smithing and crafting will be useful so I can get those levels up quicker with fewer resources. So, you know, I can use bars I get from Slayer instead of having to mine all my ores for mining or er, for smithing. So that is my choice, and with that, I can go after uh, Winter Todd now. But I want to stay here until I get uh, 60 agility. It's still going to be like a, three more hours, I think. But once I do that, I sh will be able to train agility at Winter Todd, and I want to do that because at 62 I get the shortcut for Mount Kurum, or however you pronounce that, and that will be very important for doing Slayer, because I do not want to run around that mountain every time I get a Slayer task, and I can't, you know, fairy ring or easily teleport there until I do at least more of the diary. And aside from that, I did end up doing a couple, uh, no, close that, a couple of quests. I finished, uh... The Ascent of Arceus and Depths of Despair. I d got a couple hit points levels in the process, which did slightly up the like AOE damage at Winter Todd, but I'm still at a low enough hit points that it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stay here fishing for a while, and then we'll hit Winter Todd, and then hopefully do some more interesting things. And at long last, I am finally finished with Barbarian Fishing. I decided to stay to get 70 strength just to even it out because strength got a, or agility got a little ahead of strength there. Oh, God Wars Dungeon, that's really useful. But yeah, I'm done with Barbarian Fishing. I think that's yeah, 100 points from those levels. Ended up getting, well, 60 strength, 60 agility, and 84 fishing, which is really good. But before I head over to Winter Todd, I do want to do some more fishing ironically, because I need some more food for Winter Todd. I was thinking of just uh, fishing some lobsters and uh, maybe some fly fishing at Land's End. But uh, yeah, also I did manage to get a clue bottle, only one in the whole time I was doing it, but it's an easy clue, so I should be able to do it, and I don't know, maybe it'll be something neat. So I'll probably do that and some fishing before I head over to Winter Todd. And also I probably won't have a bunch of clips of like every crate I get at Winter Todd. I'll probably do a bunch of Winter Cloud and then show you what I get, because I will be opening the crates as I go for a chance to get uh, the warm clothing, since that will make it a bit easier, since I only have two pieces of warm clothing and I forgot to do that. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm glad to finally be done with Barbarian Fishing, even though I'm still doing some more fishing because I still have stuff. Since, uh, yeah, it is kind of annoying how this is, you know, an area restricted account, yet we still have the two biggest Iron Man grinds of Barbarian Fishing and Winter Todd. So, yeah, but I do want to do Winter Todd before I get my hit points up, and I think it will be worth it because... Uh, it will be a lot of quick levels or quick points for fire making levels and a good bit of money and other supplies, hopefully. I'm not sure what I expected from an easy clue, but it wasn't that. At least I got some fire runes, I guess. Anyway, I finished up uh, catching some fly fish and lobsters and cooking them all up. I have 76 cooking now, which is getting pretty close to 80, which will be a pretty hefty point boost as well, or uh, some points. But uh, now I'm off to Winter Todd, so we'll see how well that goes. Like I said, I will be opening crates as I go, and also like using stuff like sapphires as I go, so I can get more experience, so my levels are higher, so that I get better stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll show you a clip once I do some Winter Todd, or after I get enough stuff I feel like it warrants it, but I won't be showing every single crate. I've been grinding away at Winter Todd, and I just hit 50 kill count, so I thought now would be a good time to give a bit of an update and show where I'm at. Well, as you can see, I am 95 fire making, so that's been going well. I also hit uh, 66 fletching and 59 woodcutting, one level short of uh, the woodcutting guild, and also 40 construction. Uh, I also have 61 agility. 
it might be 62 by now, but it took me like uh, 30 kills before I remembered, hey, I should do agility between rounds. So, whoops, but I do want to get 62 for the shortcut for Mount Karoom. But level-wise, I would say I'm pretty happy with how this has been going for the time I put in. Other stuff, though, not that great. Like, I got a decent bit of points from the levels, mainly. But if you look at my bank... I have got a good bit of money. I'm happy of that because I didn't want 100k to unlock permanent minecarts since I'm going to be using them a lot once I get them. But aside from the cash, I really haven't got that much I consider useful. Like, I've burnt pages, but I don't have a tome yet, so that's useless. And uh, I did get some Renar seeds, I think. But beyond that, I really haven't got a lot for seeds. Like, I got some tree seeds, but I'm not ready to play in any of these yet. And... Uh, let's see. I did get some herbs. I actually forgot to mix up these Harlanders, so let me actually just take them out so I remember. Because I did have some chocolate dust. But I haven't got that many Guams, and I don't have, uh, the secondary for Marantil or Tarman. And most of the other stuff I got is too high level for me to use. So it hasn't been super useful for, uh... Herb lore, sadly. I've got some raw fish. Uh, the sharks are nice. Aside from that, I really don't care too much about these raw fish. Also, I don't care too much about the logs that I've been getting. The ores might be useful. And I barely got any gems. So, I don't know. There has been some other stuff. Like, down here, I have stuff I that is useless in the Twisted Leagues. Like, I don't think I can grow these trees or use pure essence. But overall, aside from coins, I haven't got that much from Wintertide. And, oh, as you can see, I do have a Burma Torch. So... There's that. But overall, I'm a bit disappointed in the, like, resource loot, but it has been good for experience and coins, and I do plan to go for 100kc. I was thinking of maybe saving up the 50 crates, but at the same time, I would like to get more warm items, because if I get uh, three warm items, which is one away, because those are two, I will uh, reduce the damage I take to one. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do if I want to save up crates or open them as I go. And I might even go past the uh, 100kc if I feel like it's worthwhile. So I'm going to keep doing some more Wintertod and see how it goes. Recently, I've been a bit busy and haven't had time to, you know, do a bunch of winter tile games like I was doing earlier. So I came over to the farming pad so when I do have a few minutes, I can just pop in and plant some uh, crops and then log out. And uh, while doing that, I hit 45 farming, which is notable because now I have the farming guild, which is not going to be easy to get to. But I do need to start doing that, mainly for the contracts, because I'm having trouble getting seeds. Although, speaking of seeds, I also was pickpocketing Master Farmers and got to 60, so I'm making some progress there. But, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, 64, you get those uh, Lizardman chests, which would give uh, Zerican fabric and uh, gems, which would be good for trading crafting. So, yeah, but 45 farming, that's a nice little uh, milestone there. And uh, I probably will do some more thieving, too. I might get to 64. But for the moment, uh, 45 farming, and we'll see how much I can get. But I'm starting to run out of seeds, so I probably should uh, try and head over to the guild sometime and start the contracts. And there is 99 fire making. So, uh, yeah, back to Wintertide again after that farming break. Haven't had much luck with loot still, or still no more uh, warm items or such. And I think I left that on. Yep. And, uh, yeah, but I got 99 fire making at 68 games, which is, I think, exactly what one of my friends said they got uh, 99 fire making at. But aside from that, uh, I did also, uh, well, I got to 60 woodcutting and 62 agility, which are my other two goals here. I hit 1,000 total, and, yep, still doing a lot of farm runs. I got a decent bit of farming and an herb lore going from that. So, uh, yeah, a decent bit of seeds from doing some contracts at the guild. I forget if I mentioned that in the previous clips, and a decent bit of herbs from the herb batch. And if I claim the points, I should have had a decent bit from that level, and I think I might have had a couple other levels. Yeah, I had a hundred, I think, from, uh, something else, one of those, uh, maybe 60 wood cutting in a thousand total. But we're getting pretty close to the next relic now, but I'm still gonna be at Winter Todd for a while, because I want to go for a hundred games. Well, since it's finally the weekend, I had some time to grind out Winter Todd, and there is 125 games. Now, I know I previously said I was going to stop at 100, but I got a little, well, kind of unlucky, but also lucky, because it was on crate 96, I finally got warm gloves. 
and this gave me my third piece of worn clothing, which reduced the damage at Winter Todd from two to one for the standard attack. So because of that, I decided I kind of wanted to keep farming Winter Todd. So I ended up going for 25 million fire making experience, and I started uh, saving up the crates past 100. But uh, just to review what I got in the 100 crates, I did get a good bit of cash and sunburnt pages. Uh, don't think anything in this stat, but I did get two Burma torches and warm gloves. No pyromancer. I hate my winter Todd luck. But beyond that, I did get uh, I did get some seeds. Uh, yeah, I got a good bit of Renar and started getting some, I think, uh, snapdragons as well. I think I might have got some tree seeds and some herbs. Not Nothing too special, though. I got a decent bit of logs. I actually got uh, 20 magic logs from one crate, which was nice. And a decent bit of ore. And I also heard that gold ore can't be mined on Zaya, so that is uh, pretty useful. And a good amount of gems and also some food. Aside from that, not too much. Some pure essence that isn't really useful. And then I have the 25 crates I'm saving up. But uh, yeah, for now, that's going to be it for Winter Todd. I got 25 million experience, and we scroll up. That was... Uh, a league task and the reason I went for that is because I decided I'd want to try and get these relics before going to train combat. So if we go here and claim points, ta-da, I have unlocked my tier 4 relic. Now if I wanted to do a bunch of Winter Todd that would be a good one but I really don't care that much about 3x loot and uh, the you know cold reduction because I'm only taking one damage as it is. Uh, Conor's Blessing is really good for the increased damage, and I really wish I could get this, but increased damage isn't really useful if you don't have a goal you're working towards, and one thing I really want to do is the same thing apparently everyone else wants to do, which is Clues Groves, because this makes them a 1 in 10 drop. So if I'm killing Brutal Dragons, they have a 1 in 10 chance to drop a hard clue and an elite clue, and they stack, and they're always the lowest amount of steps. So I think I have to go with this just because Clue Scrolls is a much more exciting endgame. So many of the best items in Lee's can come from Clue Scrolls and I don't know, they're just fun. So that will be my tier 3 relic. And that leaves the last tier left which needs me to double my points. So for the moment I'm going to take a break from Winter Todd because I've been here a while. <laughs> But I, instead of going to train combat and get up my hit points level, I'm going to be doing more skilling to earn more points. And then I'm going to come back for 50 million experience at Winter Todd for the 500 points from that. And also to stack up a bunch of crates. It should get me at least 200 games and hopefully maybe like 60 construction, 80 fletching, some other skills to earn me some points along the way. But yeah, that is my plan. But I think that's where I'm going to call it for this episode. So yeah, I... I'm a decently happy with my loot from the first hundred, mainly the cash stack. I wish I had better luck with uniques, but, well, at least I got the warm gloves. That's something, anyway. And, uh, in the next episode, I actually will probably be heading back to do more farming content and probably head to Tithe Farm, because there's a lot of points I could earn there, and I need to get my farming a bit higher level. But until then, hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Until next time, goodbye.